I should probably change this over so you can see it too. Right, before we get started, let me pause here. We are doing uh, the Connecticut Yankee Part 2. Great Northerner is the person who did it. It's with the FL9 on Springfield Line. We're Springfield in line. Right. Our departure time is 7.37. We should leave on time. The schedule from here, Springfield, is rather tight. You should disable ATC by pressing Control D. Uh, it's not used by this line. There you go. Put that the right way around. Arnold Rose from USA, then Sim Tower. Then, uh, uh, no, that mean, that game that totally captures the spirit of the original but cuts out the elevator part. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a Hancock air whistle? No. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Metro Rail fan. See you later, Victor. <coughs> What's our instructions? We're due at Springfield Junior, 811, and we go via us all the way. Some of the railway games on Roblox are really realistic. Oh, that's interesting. I know my daughter plays realist uh, to plays Roblox quite a lot. In fact, she's a huge fan of Roblox. <laughs> Good night, Victor. The line is still clear. Please proceed to Springfield. You will overtake one northbound freight at Windsor. Yeah, by the time Moggy's finished um, running some background processes to make it look like it's running slower, he'll be in desperate need of a new machine. <laughs> Do I like this route or Horseshoe Curve better? Well, that's a tough one. I guess I like this one because it's got more passenger stuff on it, so it's a good mixed multi-purpose route. 
but you can't not you, you can't hate the Horseshoe Curve. Horseshoe Curve, Horseshoe Curve's lovely. Uh, up Mal. I don't know quite how it's going to end up. I mean, graphics. We've got engineers that are developing the game on 750 Ti's. Um, I'm not going to say that they're having the best time with it, but it's workable. Um, Arnold, that moment when you run out of Tassimo pods and are back to normal coffee, lol. <laughs> Stream's been good. GG Matt and a special GG to the mod team. Thank you very much, Arnold. Give that man some GGs. You know he likes it, really. Seventy-nine. No farming simulator tonight's no Steam. Um, uh, Steam Master. No, Copple Opera, I wouldn't want to suggest everyone runs out and buys um, uh, 750 Ti's though. <laughs> but to answer your question, I mean, the physics calculations that are going on will require, are currently at least quite heavy on the CPU, so. But it's, you know, plenty of time, yeah. Shadow Wolf 72, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Won't UE4 change the resolution dynamically? I don't think so. You can change the resolution without restarting though, which is really nice. We've just put it in the settings screen now, so you can just change the resolution in all the settings and it just takes effect immediately. Steam Master, am I going to play Farming Sim this week? I might do. I might change City Skylines to Farming Sim because I haven't done much Farming Sim. We've done more cities than we've done farming, so I might swap it around. Yellow light. Oh no, that's not mine. Um, Copper Opera Mail, that's not strictly true. Um, yes, you can code it all with Blueprint, but Blueprint is incredibly inefficient, certainly for some of the stuff that we're doing. So we're using a combination of Blueprint and C++. Um, because if all the physics stuff, if you did that in Blueprint, it would murder the system. Yes, you can render at a lower resolution and scale it to the target size, and that really looks awful. <laughs> we did that accidentally. <laughs> What's going on with the screen? <laughs> Andrew Rennie, what's the route? It's, this is the Springfield line. 
sort of 1950s American um, Connecticut to uh, Massachusetts. Well, that's not mine. What is that red light there if it's not mine? It wasn't on the HUD, so therefore it's not mine. Yeah, Unreal has a feature called a high-res shot where you can take screenshots. You just tell it how many times bigger you want. SSD. Um, I'm Samsung is a good. I always like Samsung stuff. Yeah, couple up out. It's basically it. You can um, run it in whatever resolution you like, and then you can tell it to take the screenshot in any other resolution. I've been taking hundred meg screenshots. <laughs> it pauses the game for a moment or two, <laughs> but they look beautiful. resolution I can't remember what I typed now I think I might have typed high res shot 10 or high res shot 20 or something which means 10 or 20 times the resolution of the screen that's nothing that we've done on TS well by the way that's a standard unreal feature which is very cool <laughs> Come on up to 79, Windsor Locks 4.3. No, it was, it was a PNG, I remember rightly, couple of <laughs> It was just enormous. Yeah, that's basically how it works, P Schlick. I think it's just the resolution that changes. So you'd still have to go in, turn all your settings up to the top, deal with the slow frame rate for long enough to do the shot. But then for that one shot, it would be insane. The puff of smoke come out the back of the case, yeah. <laughs> I did wonder, it paused for long enough. I was thinking, oh dear, I might have killed it. No, I'm chatting to the chatters rather than worrying about gates. Sixty limit, got fifty coming up. I opened it in photo view a couple of mouth. By the time it had anti-aliased it all down to fit on the screen, it was just stunning. Steam Master's upset with me. Oh well. 
do you know when recommended specs will be released I don't know when they're going to be released no uh, when, we, when we know exactly what they are the stuff for the beta was a guesstimate based on what we're seeing right now be able to be a bit more accurate once we've done a lot more um, optimising and testing Is there a way to get the download speed faster for non-premium members of UK Train Sim? Not really, because that bandwidth has to be paid for. <laughs> what I found is I did increase the bandwidth, and I didn't make a big increase. It was a very small increase to the bandwidth one at one time. It was a few years back now. I increased the bandwidth. I doubled it, which, you know, there is almost nothing for free at the moment anyway. Um, and... Um, the number of people paying premium subscriptions went down by 40% or something daft like that. It's just like it nearly put the site out of business, out, not out of business, it nearly shut it down because it couldn't afford it because you know, it got, got very close to not being able to pay the bills that month. <laughs> it's just, okay, let's not do that again. See you later, Amrillan. Oh, I need to take screenshots, don't I? Thank you, Mr. Train Cow. Everyone should shout at me if I don't take screenshots, because it makes my life very difficult when I come to put the videos up if I don't take screenshots. Oh, we've got 35 coming up, so we'll be gentle. We'll be gentle. Have I been to any haunted locations other than Chatham Dockyard? And in fact, uh, I think it was Most Haunted actually did an episode um, in the Joiner's shop on the Chatham Dockyard. It was one of those shows. Um, and the office that I was in, in there, was one of the bits that um, there was like a pole or something got thrown across the uh, room because it's before the offices were added into the joiner's shop and they were walking around on an empty floor but it's one of the far corners and that's where our office ended up being the minimum specs for the TSW beta <clears throat> are in the article Ayrton. those are not necessarily the uh, same as the uh, specs for the final release version Yeah, I saw your Hancock whistle post. I'll, I'll try and take a look at it in a bit. What's that, EC? Yeah, I've got a giveaway coming up next, folks. Um, during the um, we're doing so we're doing Project High Rise next. And during Project High Rise, I'm gonna I've got one copy of it to give away, courtesy of Green Man Gaming. Big thanks to them. It's Great Northern still working on Atlantic Bay Terminal? I don't know. I mean, he's been busy work because Great Northern was the main person behind Springfield Line, I think. He's been a busy chappy. Walter Boy 101, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. I 
don't forget we've got um, the next 24 hour stream coming up in November I'll try and see what I can arrange for Mucho giveaways Uh, train master, you need to ask one of the mods to link. Not quite sure what you said there, GWR five hundred two nine. I didn't really understand it. Power 60 limit coming up. Drop to 60. What's November, um, Tivolamo? Um, so it's Children in Need charity stream. So in the UK we have Children in Need uh, as a like a 24 hour as a telephone thing. So uh, um, in um, at the same time I'll do a 24 hour stream, a charity stream. So I've always said that I'll, I don't mind doing the 24 hour streams, but we'll do it for a good cause and we'll try and raise some money for that cause. So that's always been the goal. Um, so we'll uh, so yeah, the next one I do two of them a year, and the next one is children in need uh, in November. Oh, okay, you'll donate the price of an add-on for your forty-eight thousand. Nice. Oh, that's really good, GWR. I'm always taken aback by the generosity of uh, members on the charity streams. First one we did a little over 3,000, which was just staggering. Second one we did just shy of 6,000, which was um, mind-blowing. So... Return of the Pudsy Onesie. Oh, yes! Everything's nice and colourful on the New Haven line, it has to be said. Pushing it back up to 79. Oh yes, sorry, you're 47 that you're doing, the Royal Nebworth. I, I remember what you mean now, GWR. <laughs> you're off work for the charity stream? Nice. Uh, Arnold, saving pennies to be generous. We'd much rather give part of a larger hole than as an individual. Teamwork and all that jazz. Fantastic. That's fantastic. It should be fun. Always enjoy the 24 hour streams. They're hard work towards the end, but they're always really good. Am I going to do uh, Hall I'm going to do Counter Monster Disco. I'm going to do the entire thing on the Halloween stream. Yes. 
What day is Halloween this this year? Am I going to be streaming on that day, or do I need to do it before it? David probably burned some midnight oil that evening, keep me on my toes in the small hours, that's nice. That's really good, because to be honest, it gets really, really hard around, I don't know, three o'clock, up until about seven o'clock is awful. Absolutely awful. Although I'm gonna have the door wide open this time around. Uh, Francois, I'll probably stick to doing a lot of train sim. It's what the, uh, the audience primarily wants, but I am gonna try and mix in some other games. But it'll be primarily train sim, I think, unless everyone says no. Either Thursday to Friday or Friday to Saturday. I do Friday to Saturday because it's Friday night that they do the. Um, the telethon. And essentially I do, um, I start at one o'clock in the afternoon and go to one o'clock in the afternoon the following day. So seven to seven would be uh, fabulous. I shall see what I can get in the way of um, donation a, a, a prizes for for you lot as well try and uh, keep up the tradition of mega giveaways but more than, more on that as I as we get to it's still a little way away yet Halloween is on a Monday is it flying Scotsman You're awesome in that case so that Monday then we will be doing the count of monster disco <laughs> Going via South Springfield. The double yellow kind of wants to tell me I think that we're changing tracks. So I'm expecting a uh, red green next. Lona J, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Oh no, we've got a yellow red. Francois says both Moggy and Francois have birthdays in October. Oh wow. Right, please prepare to cross over to track one at the crossovers at milepost 61, just north of the yard. Track two is blocked by a switcher. No, that's fine, GWR. I'll, I'm happy to run. If it's a special reskin, then I can run it. I can just explain it. If you put the scenario up, put the scenario on Workshop if you want to, um, and um, and then send me the reskin, um, and I will. Um, uh, I, what I can do is when I download the scenario, I can swap in the reskin. That way, other people can try the scenario if they want to, but um, I can show your reskin off. So we're coming up on Springfield now, I think. We're not too fast from, uh, yeah, two miles to go. ADS Lucas21, thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Yes, Squirrel streamed Project High Rise, Francois. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Um, uh, I went and bought myself a copy of it, and I played it a little bit, 
um, and then Green Man Gaming said, "Hey, here's a copy of Project Graham Project High Rise. Would you like to stream it for us?" Oh, okay. Can I give it away? Yeah, fine. So I'm going to give it away. <laughs> Right, mile post 61, track 2 northbound, drop to 20 miles an hour as we get up there. Oh, we've got a yellow on the bottom, I think. I think that might be my... Uh Yeah, we've got a yellow on the ground. Well, I'm going to get ready for the 20. Uh, pulled from the stats. No, unfortunately, it's not really very easy to change the... Um, uh, the colouring of the uh, font and the graphics. Alright, we're crossing over here. Oh, we'll oh, see. Okay, when it said 20, it meant 15. Fair enough. Really, Train Master? That surprises me because we've had lots of really positive feedback from it. And it was done based on a lot of photographs. Instructor, proceed on track one. I'm sending you into platform uh, track five. Please call the tower and request permission to proceed. Player, press tab. Printed in my tab, pressed. Alright, let's see where we're going. brings us in. It's a nice sky, isn't it? We tabbed, so all is good. We retabbed just to be sure. It's like, uh, Mr. Dispatcher? Yes. I know, I know. You gave me the um, the, the 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 permission to go ahead. I just wanted to double check if I still had it. Yes, sixteen seconds later, it hasn't changed. Okay. If I still got it, go away. This looks lovely. This bit. Oh, this is the uh, the roundhouse over here. Ten mile now. Um, so the coal district line is close to the river and is only single track, but not on Main Street. I think it's single track at Main Street. I can't remember, but it's not close to the river at that point. Well, it is close to the river, but not right next to it. Later on, a little bit further along the line, you are running right close to the close to the river. In fact, there's two lines, and the river is in the middle.
Windows 10 is out for phones now, is it? What phone have you got, B. Harrison? Have you got a Win 10 phone then? Uh, is it West Brownfield? I think it's West Brownfield. Calls up Google. West Brownsville. West Brownsville is what you're thinking of. Not West Brownsfield. West Brownsville in Pennsylvania. Springfield. Oh, you've got, yeah, I've got Lumia 640. Nice. GLaDOS is a dispatch of tears. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, I've been tempted to pick up a Windows phone. Have a break from Android. <laughs> and I like Windows 10 Mobile. I've got a Windows 10 Surface. Um, tablet and it's epic. Shame Microsoft stops them making phones. Oh, they stopping making phones? Because Microsoft bought Nokia. They started calling their phones Microsoft phones, and I noticed they're back to calling them Nokia phones again, but it's still Microsoft. I always like Microsoft hardware. Microsoft hardware is great. What does GLaDOS mean? GLaDOS is the um, operating system from um, Portal. Right, are we done? Yep, we're done. I obviously missed something. I can't get F1 up now, so I can't see. Wait, there you go, folks. That is the end of Train Sim Live. Up coming up next is Project High Rise. So uh, bear with me. I'll be right back. I'm not even going to do the theme tune. Just going to get on with it. 